one of the things that led up to the Kaiser strikes was the fact that Kaiser as an organization had really made a conscious decision to devalue the role of registered nurses in their hospitals and clinics. The very first day of bargaining, they immediately told us, we are taking away 15 of your benefits. And so that sort of set the tone. The takeaways Kaiser proposed were staggering. The giant health care provider seemed to disregard its employees' rights and its patients' needs. It was the quality of care that was the issue. And I believe the good old boys thought, well, if we give these little girls some money, you know, they'll just go away and be what they're good at, you know, taking care of people. Well, that wasn't the case, and they found out soon enough. The registered nurses here at Kaiser have gone on strike. Rosemary Wood has been working as a registered nurse for Kaiser for 25 years. This is about the quality of care that patients are not getting. In the last three years or less, 1,400 registered nurses have been laid off. We worked out a strategy to get the public and our patients behind us. Um, we ended up going out on a series of six one to two day strikes throughout Northern California that galvanized not only the nurses, but the community and our patients. Kaiser nurses are now more than 15 hours into their 24 hour walkout. The managers at Kaiser hospitals throughout Northern California are bracing tonight for another nurses strike. The issue here is quality of care. Kaiser's registered nurses say that care has been compromised by recent cutbacks. And each time we came back from those strikes, there was even more support when I was on the advice phones, uh, the patients would say, way to go, keep fighting, you know, don't let them, you know, take you out on this one. You've really got to fight for us. And fight they did, never knowing whether they could outlast the HMO Goliath. One day, after 18 months of bargaining, they had their answer. They went out for a caucus, and when they came back, they said, everything that you have asked for we're giving you. And we're like, is it over? Is this, is this real? Are we dreaming? CNA's victory made headlines. The California RNs had won a new role as patient care watchdogs while proving to the nation that they were a force to be reckoned with. Once we had beat Kaiser, it was like, we can beat the world because we took on Kaiser and we won. We may be small in size, but we think big. We fight long and hard. It really became a, an incredible bond of the nurses and the patients and their families together fighting Kaiser Permanente. And it really made me understand that it's power of people working together, totally focused and committed. It was really a history-making time that if I had to do it over again, you bet I would. These are the women and men who have really transformed history. And, and they've opened a door that can never be closed again. CNA's three-decade campaign for hospital-wide RN to patient ratios would reach a climax with AB 394. It started bringing nurses in out of the woodwork and really got nurses involved in lobbying. I wrote letters to the elected officials. I um, participated in the rallies, the rally at Sacramento where we had um, it was just amazing. We just, that Capitol Rotunda was just filled with registered nurses. These nurses' hands save lives, but today they join together at the state capitol to try and lower the nurse-to-patient ratio. And there was such enthusiasm that spontaneously people burst into the capitol building. And they started to march through the Capitol building, chanting that they wanted ratios, that they were going to win, that this had to happen. We had senators coming out, talking to them, letting them know that in the Capitol, in the Senate, they could hear us out there chanting. And it gave nurses, it, it showed them how much power they actually had. AB 394 passed, was signed into law by the governor, and has become a model for RNs and patients across the nation and throughout the world. The more members we have, the louder the voice for patient care will be. 
we realized that the only way we were going to enforce one level of care for all patients in California was to organize not only just in Northern California, but in Southern California as well. Organizing was successful like never before. CNA doubled its ranks in less than a decade, winning victories in one facility after another, including the two largest hospitals on the West Coast. It's a really exciting time in Southern California right now. The nurses are really energized and the landscape has changed and we are going to have CNA in every hospital in Southern California in fast order. <laughs> It's really no surprise that we've doubled the membership in the last eight years. But what the registered nurses see in CNA is an organization that will fight unrelenting for the right of the registered nurse to advocate for patients. That's what they love. That's why they come here. If you look at the history and you see the courage and commitment and the dedication and the fight, the CNA nurses are really willing to do whatever it takes to transform health care and provide better patient care because collectively registered nurses, frankly, are unstoppable.